how y'all doing Vass here with a random unboxing got a package in that I didn't know I was getting today um, as you can see box is already open and poured the shoes out already and let's go ahead and get straight into it but before I get into it I would like to say uh, one quick thing real quick um, my channel got a nice amount of subscribers now and I'm at that point now where I've crossed over from being, you know, a regular type of shoe reviewing channel or whatever. I don't even want to say shoe reviewing channel because it isn't just a shoe review channel, but I crossed over from that part of the community to the community where I guess the other successful channels are. And with doing so, you start to be marketed to almost everybody. And now I'm at that point where I'm starting to get a lot of trolls on my videos. Um, they always existed, but now more so than ever. And the reason why I'm bringing this up isn't because I want people to stop trolling. I don't really care if you troll. That's more views, more comments, and more money in my pocket. But what, what I do have, what I do want to mention is I know a lot of you guys are younger that watch these videos. Most of you guys are 14, 15, 16, and stuff like that. Um, if you see a comment in my video, if you want to go at that person because you might have seen them commenting dirty on somebody else's channel before, then by all means, you can go in. I don't really care. That's on you. But when it comes to you just going back and forth with somebody over a comment in my comment section, and I'm not even acknowledging that person, I'd rather you not waste your time dealing with a troll because at the end of the day, that's what they want you to do. They want to get a reaction out of either me or you. At the end of the day, if they subscribe to my channel and they click it on all my videos, then they're a hater because they like what I'm doing, but they don't want to like it. So that's a hater. Only a, only a hater would subscribe to somebody just to dislike videos and just to come on their videos and talk shit to the people in the comment section all day. Another thing I want to say is um, somebody came on my channel earlier talking about, oh, and this ain't the first time. Oh, you you should get some. You should start doing this and doing that with different jeans, or, or you know, I don't mind no comments when somebody being disrespectful. Oh, them yo jeans whack. You gotta step your game, up, bro. You probably don't even got this. You probably don't even got that. Like, bro, I'm I'm unboxing two hundred and three hundred dollars worth of you know each, each shoe, and videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm buying shoes that you can't get. You know what I'm saying? Offline early and stuff like that. You see me with a full damn studio, yet you still think I can't afford some jeans, some different jeans? Come on, bro. What's wrong with y'all? My whole thing is this, man. I'm not finna go out of my way, you know, to do a particular thing that doesn't really matter. If I throw on some regular looking little jeans for a video, then it is what it is. The whole point of me not wearing fucking Bowmine jeans and True Religion jeans and Mac jeans and every video is because I'm my videos and everybody else's videos are marketed to 14 year olds. Can't no 14 year old buy no Bowmine jeans or no True Religion jeans like that. Or they shouldn't be buying it. You know what I'm saying? They could be putting their money towards more important stuff. The point that I'm getting at is why would I wear some $200 jeans and $800 jeans for a fucking shoe review? where the shoe only costs like $150 to $200, $250, right? And the people who looking at the videos definitely not spending that much money on a pair of jeans. I show a basic pair of jeans or maybe some Levi's or some stuff like that so that people can see how the shoe will look in most cases. That should be common sense. You know, the sad part about these kind of people is when you click on their videos, a lot of times they are they're a shoe reviewer they sell and they be old as hell or you know something like that like bro don't be bitter because i'm young and all these other young cats are young doing these videos like boil rc you know what i'm saying db town tony two wild all these people and you guys know i never give shout outs on my videos but i was talking to uh tony uh it was brief and he said that he didn't even know i watched his videos like yeah i watch your videos i thumb them up you know what i'm saying I don't watch, I don't sit around and watch shoe reviews all day, but when I do watch people, you know what I'm saying, I like to watch people who are genuine and stuff like that. They do their own thing, they shoot their video, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of guys out here that's doing their thing. It's 
like the shoe review stuff is oversaturated at this point, to be honest. It's like every week is like five new channels out there. Um, and I know I'm babbling along and you see the September blue right there. I got it early, but I'm just trying to get to a point. And the point is that no, I'm not a professional shoe reviewer. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Until Nike actually has an actual representative shoot a high end music video, look at video for a Nike shoe and Nike is actually cutting you a check to do shoe reviews. Then to think somebody's a professional and tell somebody, you know, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that is the dumbest shit you could ever do. Maybe you should get off your ass, buy you a high end camera and do the shit that you're telling me I should do and do the shit that you're telling you know, DJ Dells, he should do. You know what I'm saying? People say, man, you should do, you should up your quality. You should make this, or you should start doing this, you should do on that. Bro, what makes you think I care that much? Like I told y'all from day one, I picked up a camera and started recording what I do, what I already do when it comes to shoes. Have I took y'all to my store? No, will I? No. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and then, you know, people say, oh, your channel would be bigger if you did this, bruh. Not to throw a sh and I'm not, this is not a shot at DJ Dells. DJ Dells is an OG, you know what I'm saying? The homie, you know, who rep in the hometown, you know what I'm saying? Jumpman Bostic, OG. These dudes have like the biggest and most important channels on YouTube when it comes to shoes. And they quality ain't nowhere near, you know, a lot of us guys out here. So that's the dumbest thing you can say is that, Oh, if you start doing this, you will get more views. No, that's not the case. It's all about the character. It's all about what everybody else feels, not what a troll feel at the end of the day. So with that being said, I'm gonna get straight into, you know, give you all the details about these shoes. I just want to talk to you all about that because I get a lot of questions about that. And a lot of uh, trolls are starting to, you know, come out of the woodworks and we ain't got time for that. So if you one of those trolls and you feel like, you know, you want somebody that's gonna do backflips for a damn shoe review, I suggest you unsubscribe right now and go watch whoever you want to watch. But anyway, to get to the shoe, you got the September Blue 6 right here. Got it early because um, I plan on getting one when they come out, when they ship them all out to my, you know, everybody's stores and stuff like that. Get a second pair because, you know, they don't really do white and blue Jordan shoes, period. Like, think about it. When was the last time you seen an all white and blue Jordan shoe that didn't have a bunch of other colors in it. It was probably the True Blue 3s. You know, as far as something that's good to have anyway. Um, and I remember back in the day, I had two pair of the Varsity 6s when they first came out. You know, I think it was like, well, not when they first came out, but one of the retro pairs. I think it was like 07 or 08 when I got them. And I was like, man, if they would have did this in blue, that'd be cold. And this is before, you know, everybody was doing all the customizing or, you know, before customizing the shoe was popular. Um, so I always said I'd get a varsity red joint and make it royal blue. And what ended up happening is I never did it. It just never just crossed my mind again to, you know, even do that. So um, this shoe is just like, Another one of my ideas from my childhood or from my youth actually come to life. And I think that's dope. This shoe is definitely a must cop just for the simple fact that they don't do white and blue Jordans, period. Unless you ride the five and you rep the Suwu gang, blood gang, you got the five star tatted on you or something, this shoe is a must cop. So that's, that's my take on that one. Um, there will be a full review of it on, my, on the second channel. Uh, for, oh, for those of you who don't know, I have two channels. Uh, the reason why I do two different channels is because uh, this channel, I like to just stick to on-foot reviews and uh, the unboxing videos like these and then and just straight up retail shoes. If I get some shoes early, I like to put it on a whole nother channel. That way you guys are able to separate the two, you know, one early from one uh, retail, which there is no difference, but some people seem to think there is a difference and that it actually matters, so I decided to do two different channels as far as full reviews. Now right here, this shoe doesn't even have an official name yet. Got the silicone packs in here. I talked to you guys about that on one of my videos a while back. Um, those are good to have in your shoe. They don't come in your shoe when you buy it from Foot Locker and stuff like that, but I've come to the conclusion that those aren't in there because 
they will pretty much rather your shoe yellow as fast as possible so that you can keep buying shoes because that pretty much prevents and slows down the yellowing process of your shoe. There's no moisture and stuff like that. It sucks up a lot of that stuff in your room if you have a muggy house and stuff like that. Now this shoe right here doesn't even have an official name. Uh, some people say, oh, the Christmas six, but it's clearly not Christmas. Um, it's, and then you got the year of the six out there. I'm just gonna call it the year of the six because this is the year of the six and um, you know, every other shoe definitely does have an official name. So I would rather call this the year of the six because Christmas does not make sense. Unless this mug don't come out until this Christmas, which I doubt. But as you can see, this shoe, the color that you see in my camera is the exact way it looks in person. Um, me, myself, when I was looking at pictures of these and stuff on like uh, sneaker news and stuff like that, they looked more of a varsity red, like a Chicago Bulls red or a Detroit Pistons red. Um, or the red that's on the jump man of your shoe box. If you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you have a shoe box with this red jump man. But as you can see, it's complete, it's not that color at all. You know, this shoe almost makes that jump man look infrared, but we all know that that jump man is more of like a varsity red. This red is more of a Tampa Bay Buccaneers red for those who's want it, or that Miami Heat type of red. Maybe a little bit lighter than the Miami Heat red, but it's definitely like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So you got that green jump man under there, icy blue bottom. You got that hint of green in the back, which is why people call it the Christmas. Um, this shoe would definitely be limited. I would say that this shoe, me looking at it, is premium leather. Um, me personally, I've always worked for like Finish Line, Foot Locker, have my own store, got my own connections and stuff. So I'm kind of spoiled when it comes to prices. And I just would rather spend two thousand dollars and five, six, seven hundred dollars on like studio equipment and car stuff, car audio. I do a. a I do so many more things that you guys have no clue. I'm thinking about starting a vlog channel with my friend who just moved back up from, from South Carolina um, so that you guys can see all that stuff. But the, what I'm getting at is what I say a shoe is worth is you can take it as a grain of salt because everybody says something different. To me, this is premium leather. If I'm somebody who just loves, love, love Jordan's shoe, I would say I would spend $300 at most on this shoe. But at the same time, there are some people that will spend $300 on that September blue shoe that I showed, which is a GR. So like I said, I say three, somebody has spent three on that September blue because they want it. So that means that the resellers are probably gonna start the price of this shoe at $450 or $500 because it's gonna be limited. But in my opinion, this isn't even a shoe that I will wear all the time like as you guys can see i didn't get the red october uh yeezy not because i don't like yeezys i just don't like an all red shoe like that this shoe actually has other colors so i can when i do wear this i can pull you know i, I feel like it's more of me but the red october was all red and no i'm not a blood i know some bloods mess with some bloods but i'm not a blood i'm wearing blue now <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh the point i'm getting at is I'm not finna spend a lot of money on something if I feel like it's not worth it, no matter what Joe Blow tells me, no matter if Jordan himself came over here and said, yo, this shoe is worth $500, because I'd be like, Jordan, you don't even wear your shoes like that. <laughs> so that's my that's my and my take on that. I spent $300 at the most on this shoe. Um, that's with shipping and everything. Retail, resellers are gonna probably sell it for $500 out the gate, um, but that's up to you guys. That's your decision to make. Or you can get them early like I like I did, and you can spend 500 when they come out, or you can spend maybe 350 and get them early. It's up to you. Some people always ask me, why do you get stuff early? Why do you get stuff early? The reason why I get stuff early is because, like for example, the Jordan 11. When a shoe, when the Jordan 11s come out, they retail for about what, 180, right? Well, Somebody will buy that shoe for 180, walk out the store and sell it to somebody standing in line for 300 or 350. So I've seen somebody spend 450 for a Jordan uh, 11 standing in line. My point is you could have bought the shoe and had it a month or two early for probably 350 or 300. Now you're spending that and you're getting it at the same time 
you know, 900,000 other people are getting it. That's the point. I might, you might as well just get it early, rock it, turn some heads, be happy, get your wares out of them, and then put them up. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to end up spending that anyway, especially the guys who like who buy everything off eBay. I don't understand why you're not buying up the early. That's crazy. Not only that, but you could buy some stuff early, do some shoe reviews, build you a following, and start getting paid off your views. Or, you know, maybe meet, have some connections with people. You know what I'm saying? People who, you know, good places who can help you out with shoes. Like, that's, that's how I look at it. Everybody don't look at stuff that way, but it is what it is. As you can see here, got the, from the championship pack, that champagne joint. You know, the cigars will be on the way. Um, I don't know, what's, I didn't even know that this was coming, but I usually have four shoes come at a time, it's three, but that's the one that's missing. You know, the cigar, the champagne from the championship pack. Speaking of the championship, Miami got their asses handed to them, and I'm glad because now the NBA could be interested again. Miami, Miami gonna have to make some changes. The Spurs team is already gonna be breaking apart because people are retiring. Um, the NBA will be a little bit more interesting again. It's too predictable, man. They got, it's way too predictable. But anyway, this shoe right here, as you can see, it came wrapped up. This isn't a shoe that I would wear, period, like that. Like, I'll probably bring this shoe out maybe. I'm telling you, I'm, 20, I'm, I'm 22, I'll be 23 in October. I'll probably be 30 years old and probably have wore this shoe two times. <laughs> That's, it's, it's, it's not a shoe that you could just even wear like that. It's one of them shoes where you got to dress kind of odd to even match it. So this would be like a special shoe, like maybe if I do a video shoot with one of the artists I'm working with or a photo shoot or something like that, I might bring this shoe out just to be like, oh, okay, you know, something limited. But people always make fun of GRs, but I'm telling you, GRs be the dopest shoes, like the 3M5, Fire Red 5. That's my favorite Jordan right there. You know what I'm saying? I like the Brazil 6 out of all the limited shoes. I think the Brazil 6 is the dopest one out of all of the limited uh, sixes. <laughs> Whew. Sorry about that. But as you can see on the bottom there, all ice blue, nothing, nothing but ice bottom with that red jump man. You know, same as this, come with that little ring right there. Not sure, man, I got these early, so I've seen some people with two pair and one of they, one of they shoes, well, one of they pairs I have the black, background with the gold jump man on the ring and some will have a white background with the uh the gold jump man on the ring so i'm not sure uh what's up with that but the shoe itself i'm looking dead at it everything on this mug is a1 so like i said it's not something i wear anyways it's a nice shoe to have but with that being said man i hope y'all enjoyed the video there will be now I have to do seven on foot videos, so it's about to get busy. They might not come quick because like I said, I'm, I'm busy. This isn't all I do. Uh, and I also have to do these three reviews for the second channel. So, and there's more and more shoes coming, man. I'm gonna be picking up a lot of Jordan stuff, man. Uh, like I said, I'm stepping away from LeBron and all that stuff because not only are the shoes starting to be uncomfortable, but they are way too overpriced in the colors. I'm getting tired of all of the neon colors and stuff like that. Uh, I'll be picking up more casual stuff, more high-end fashion stuff. Probably pick up some Y3, some Adidas Y3 stuff. Um, but you guys are going to see a lot of video content with me working with artists and doing music production. That's going to be the primary focus. And I will definitely always hit, hit you guys with these videos just to show appreciation. And because that's the reason why most of the guys are here. Some people can't wait for the music stuff, but most of you guys are here for the shoe stuff. So I'll never completely step away from it. With that being said, man, hope y'all have a good one. Hope y'all had a good weekend, and man, let's get this work week started, man. Peace.